Alright, Jackson Jills, welcome to the match here today. That one was for Sir Dimwi. <laughs> of High Voltage versus Toxin. So, I'm excited for this one, okay? Because High Voltage coming in. The established uh, team here with players from Season 1. So, some familiar faces. Team Toxin here, rookie team. New faces, making their names known pretty dang quickly, though. Over these first uh, couple weeks, going into week 3 now, starting today. So... Yeah, th this one is going to be quite the test, I feel like, for Toxin. Uh, again, they're, they've been really rocking and rolling and uh, impressing with their positioning, their uh, communication, their, those player comms. Now, of course, they are generally muted for the stream uh, just because it gets awfully crowded uh, since they do do those open comms and, and uh, mute the other team and such. But, but their comms have been immaculate. Their positioning, great. Their passing, great. Uh, but, again, coming up against a team who's already been through that ringer in Season 1 and High Voltage coming in uh, about midway through the season or so, if I do recall. And, uh, yeah, they've, they've been doing nothing but getting better ever since. So, the question here is how will they uh, adapt? That is Toxin. And how are they going to show up against uh, perhaps one of their stronger tests, strongest tests? Uh, they, of course, did have that Fox Force 5 match against some very, very veteran players uh, last week, but could be a whole new ball game here. You know, high voltages have been showing that uh, they they've come to play, that they have not been slacking on the practice or anything of that sort uh, in the off season and going into week zero, that challenge week. So, all right, let's see what happens here. Toxin over on blue side. Well, that happens. Uh, and orange, it's high voltage, and uh, will be well. Echo Cameron with a disc first, just retrieving it off. Passing up here to the Singularity. So Toxin rolling with that roster here of Titan. Light has come, uh, Echo, Cameron, and Singularity. And over on High Voltage side, we have Newton. We have Laws of the Best. We have Fire Ninja with a disc. And the shot from Sonic Roland to fill out that roster. Perfect timing and perfect shot. The spin cycle of sorts with the first two points. So hello to the Twitch chat. See Quotai in there. We have Echo Tammy. We have Hi Tony. We have uh, Bushy and Gilligan and Quotai. Flute as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Not very welcome for uh, that punch. Just uh, slamming it and then getting the goal. Nice stun. Nice turnover caused there by High Voltage. Lulls are the best. With the best of hits right at that corner of the top. So... Uh, just a minute in, already back-to-back -back scores here. Five points for High Voltage. So as Titan does launch out here, let's see if they can get it to, onto this side. You can see again being piled on there by Lulz are the best. So Lulz causing another turnover perhaps. And see if they can convert on another, uh, another shot here. Titan will remain in the goal. Just biding his time, waiting for the rest of the party to join up here in the front. 
and uh, some good defense there. And there you go, Titan. Trying for the clear, unable to get it. Now that was something that, uh, another thing, Toxin was doing very well in the, their matches last week that were streamed, is just cutting off that, that bubble passing. You'd see uh, very attentive of who they mark, and when those passes go out, they do try, uh, generally speaking, to really close off the receiver, uh, either with a punch or, you know, just not allowing them. Well, things like that. So as I say that, getting lost, and oh boy, that was very, very close. Of course, uh, paired with the one not caster's jinx from a minute ago, you have to throw one in there. But yeah, uh, ultimately doing a pretty good job on the defensive end, making it tough and not allowing teams uh, a lot of time to really get those passes. See, that time... You can see the nest or the barrier pass was bothered pretty well by Singularity, and it did at least force uh, High Voltage to fumble here. So that's kind of what I want to look out for, uh, because for High Voltage, they've been showing their increased ability in team play and their increased stability. On that note, and uh, we'll see how they really try to adapt here and how they maneuver through this defense uh, quite well, as it turns out. But uh, the pass a bit strong. So again, on this attempt. Denied another deep one. There you go cut off yet again and finally we do get a clear coming in so great defense being shown by toxin But great speed being shown from high voltage able to recover in no time at all before sending that out now That said singularity with a very good set of stuns to uh, enable his teammate Oh, just maybe missing the disc here But nonetheless high voltage still getting back eventually on the stacks a pass up high to the shoulder down into the goal And there we go. It took an awful lot of attempts, but finally Putting uh, the goal where it needed to go, or the disc that is, and that's seven points here for high voltage. Uh, five out of the seven, therefore, lulls are the best. But yeah, you can see it. I mean, five uh, five shots taken there for high voltage, and Toxin not able to get any. So, although the defense has been good, you know what? So has the defense from high voltage been out on that shot attempt, just barely missing. Will be taken back by Titan. So. Definitely a stroke of luck for Toxin because that could have been pretty damaging uh, and, and really maybe initiated that snowball if they weren't careful. That said, could still happen here because once again, high voltage with shot attempt after shot attempt. They're going to go for it again and get it to go. Nine points here. So high voltage definitely showing their defensive uh, intensity, able to get those grabs, those steals. And now up to seven shots taken to zero shots taken for Toxin. That is, needless to say, the difference maker because it's not as if uh, High Voltage is scoring on every single attempt, but the problem is they are getting multiple attempts uh, per offensive set. So that is exactly what they want to deny. Meanwhile, though, defense from High Voltage causing another turnover here. Fire Ninja trying to dish it off here to Lulz are the best. He's going to wait over there at the pack and uh, try and look for his teammate right down below. Sonic Roland. He'll reset out to the bow tie. Again, some really good aggression coming out on the defensive end, so causing some more fumbles and struggles with the disc. Uh, but every single time, it seems like high voltage is going to be there on the recovery, so they'll just keep going at it. I do like the aggression, however, and at this point, diving out on that disc uh, wisely was Titan finding the clear, but the mid lane just uh, barely missing the grab there, so Newton was in the general area, unable to get it uh, on that first attempt. Second attempt denied here by the good stun from Light. So Titan takes it back, and at the moment, uh, Toxin looking to light up the goal some way, somehow, eventually, but they are still held at that zero point mark. Not for too long, maybe, but no! Fire Ninja, look at that grab! Not only the defensive excellence, but the ability to just, as he was floating upwards, prevent it from going in. That was a tremendous save there from Fire. And it's going to result in this clear. Will it get them the shot is the question. Going to be close, but taken here by Singularity first. So, Newton with the disc now, going to move up on the floor, but have it stolen by Titan. Titan going for that deep, uh, perhaps shot attempt, going to go off that corner. Immediate boost coming in, and will it be finally the first goal from Light and from Toxin? You can see it even turning orange there, the disc right at the end. So even that was still very nearly saved, almost dangerous. But uh, there you go, two points on the board for Toxin, and, and just showing that great defense and that speed to finally get their first goal here. But all right, High Voltage continuing uh, to roll on. They, they're feeling confident, and they should. They have that 9-2 to advantage. They still have 3 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Uh, so for them, they got to prioritize that disc control, knowing that they don't really need to rush it too much if, uh, if they don't have to. So, you know, keep trying to score, of course, but you know, don't, don't take those, uh, those unnecessary shots. At the moment, taking a lot of very necessary shots 
on those brawls, uh, but a deep reception taken by Newton. Now that said, knocked loose again. You can see that not a lot of time to work with uh, on some of these passes. Very much up in the front lines, but here's the problem. So uh, some of the players getting stuck now on defense uh, way behind. So if High Voltage can put together a little bit of that speed, unfortunately they do lose it here a bit. I was going to say they could have an opportunity to take the defense uh, off guard before they're able to actually get back into bubble to defend. But that said, Newton's going to try for the pass, uh, missing the mark there, just hitting the barrier, still eventually reaching fire, and then over down to uh, the opposite side where uh, goalie uh, Light, I believe, or Titan, collects the disc and slaps it out. But again, another retention by Newton and High Voltage. Definitely dealing out the stuns, but at the end of the day, High Voltage just able to retain... Uh, due to some great passing, great positioning. Here it is again. So uh, look at that. I mean, a nice rectangle kind of formation. So they have multiple avenues. They're just going to anchor off, push off, and push it right in through the goal. It's 11 to 2 high voltage. All right. So two minutes left, and it's looking pretty uh, good in the favor of high voltage. We'll see if... Uh, Toxin can close out, though. Maybe build some steam going into round two. Also, high two is a gunslinger. Earlier highlighted message. And steel, uh, steel skydiver uh, for the hellos and the pally dads. Hmm. Go to your room. Uh, on the clear, however, is going to bounce down to the bubble. The goal momentarily exposed, but everyone overshooting it, except for Titan finally coming on through. Uh, he's going to have that lane. There is a midfielder there, but just squeezes the pass, uh, throwing it to the ceiling area and bouncing over maybe to Singularity. It's a very tough catch. So now Singularity, you can see him uh, recognizing the fact, nice on the stuns, that the momentum of the disc was too strong, so just tried to go for the boost instead. I mean, the mobility is pretty nice here. There you go again. Good discipline too, not... Uh, being baited into any stuns or anything like that. Just took a soft boost and tried to get back to the other end. But just the same on this end of the floor. Oh, wrangling the disc there. Light has come for the defense. And uh, at the moment, continuing to spur on hot with these great grabs uh, all over the place and these stuns coming in from Toxin. But just the same. Is that going to go in? That's pretty close, but taken out there by Fire Ninja uh, as he ejects that over into the bow tie area where there'll be a couple players there to contest. Ultimately now going right back into the blue zone, but Titans awaiting that without too much of an issue. And now a uh, deep bounce going to be taken here as oops, Singularity getting stuck in a Singularity for a little bit, but he's back uh, at the moment. The offense there back up here. Right in the front line, trying for the shot, but too tough of an angle from that bottom corner. Sonic Roland still retains, trying to be very, very patient with it, but being stunned now by Singularity. Couldn't get rid of it in time, couldn't find the option. So good cutoffs there as High Voltage comes on through. Fire Ninja dishing it back. Uh, Solon Roland taking it. The shot off the dot, up to the ceiling. Let's see if they can hit that spot with one more second remaining. Not quite. 11 to 2, ending this first round. High Voltage's favor. Uh, still entertaining, and another one of those cases, I do think, where the score are not totally indicative of the the actual matchup, because 11 points to 2 uh, looks looks like a, a fairly wide margin, sure. It was not made easy, though, to be assured. Uh, it took an awful lot of attempts there, and credit to High Voltage, they eventually converted on them. But Toxin definitely not making it easy, so really just impressive work from both ends, neither uh, wanting to concede all too much. So take a look at the stats. I'm going to go take a look at my non-sponsored drink of choice. Oh, that's a shame. I was also going to address chat momentarily. But then I went and accidentally refreshed uh, my page. So anything you guys have said in the last few minutes, I completely miss. It's as if it never happened. I'm sorry. Anyway, drink. No, not... Not Pepsidor. All right, and I'm back. So, oh, right in time for the uh, beginning here of round two. So let's get to it, shall we? Need a just fun match so far. Let's see if... Uh, Dimwi's pr prediction there can 
come true for this round two victory for Tuxin. But High Voltage definitely wanting to prevent that and fully uh, ready and able to, I do believe. So there's a patient play to the backfield. Kokador says Gunslinger. Not quite. <laughs> Lulls are the best. Well, you know the rest. The shots going in from High Voltage there to open the second round up. It's a Coke product. Um, asking about, let's see, Donkey asking about the logos. Um, I think a good handful of people use Fiverr for, for those purposes. If you go uh, check out that website, commission some artists or a uh, reasonable cost. <laughs> Not that we're sponsored by them or anything, but maybe now we should be. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where a lot of people go for their logos. It's where I went to for some of my stuff in the past. Not the, uh, not the original Eclipse logo, but... The, the Eclipse 11.5 one was Fivers. That is almost going to be inside the goal. Taken here by Echo Cameron. He's going to go for that goal. Uh, still unable to get it going there. Titan now ducking through a anchor move, but couldn't convert on the shot. So retained here. A little bit of pileups forming slightly there. Uh, will cause a bit of chaos, a bit of disarray. But, you know, through the chaos, cannot find a goal. Titan trying one more time. And still unable to find the bottom of that orange goal. It has been tough goings, but much like High Voltage in the first round where they got attempt after attempt on this particular uh, series. There you go. Titan finding a three-pointer on that one. Amazing shot there off the backboard, kissing it gently off that back. And, uh, yeah, up by one point. So, as I was saying, High Voltage kind of pulling – or, sorry, Toxin pulling a High Voltage here to open up round two with just uh, multiple shot attempts to finally get them that goal. Very nice. Yeah, I see Tony in the chat uh, talking about good logos and him making good logos. Well, yeah, that was that was one of my uh, biggest disappointments going to season two. The fact that uh, no more Mirage logo was going to be seen on stream. <laughs> it was a very good logo. I liked it. Uh, over here, at Sonic Roland. We're going to distribute that to Newton. Newton coming in, flying high, and well, getting stunned and stopped on that momentum. Singularity doing just the same, getting stopped, but gets the disc uh, partially cleared at least now trying to find that immediate boost that immediate clear so uh watch out that goal is exposed but oh high voltage just missing that first attempt so a little bit less time to work with than maybe initially expected but i uh, will see how toxin reacts here it's going to be very close on that race for the disc a nice slap through by fire ninja will get the job done in the clear but the boost coming in from titan getting that job done and uh, even the disc right back, well, to Newton. So I take it back because he took it back. And he took the shot a little bit high. And back to the wedge. And you can see the positioning here from high voltage now. Uh, wisely, Newton staying there, recognizing that, hey, his teammate had a chance at the very least at getting the disc. So just in case, positioning accordingly. So the pass was available. And that's what you'll see experienced teams do more and more as they rise up the ranks. Just learning when it's appropriate to stack, when it's appropriate to just position out. You know, when to dive, when to be patient, uh, all of the above. It's those little tiny things that ultimately add up to, you know, make those big differences between all the different divisions in VRML. So Lowe's are the best, driving it in, uh, just taking the goal himself. Had some options, but had the confidence to hit it right through the wickets of a couple defenders. And that's four to three in round two for high voltage. About four minutes uh, into the second, and Toxin prepared to launch out offensively here. See some talk about 12 bucks something going once, twice. What what are we selling here? Better not be gambling. That is highly disallowed. Wink, wink. Just kidding. I mean, yeah. Um, talking about logo making, hey, I'll, I'll commission Tony for a logo. I'm not playing on anything, but why not? Make a Palador logo. <laughs> Selling Mirage. Pff, I'll take it for 12 bucks. Heck yeah. Uh, Lulls are the best going up high. Now the rebound eventually to Newton off that bounce. Newton's going to be contested very, very well by Singularity. So look at that. Just getting another steal off the stun. Singularity doing a good amount of that in this game and trying to go for the uh, leech perhaps. Unable to do so. Will ultimately result in the retrieval by Newton as uh, he tries to look for an open pass. Now the pass was open enough. But still, Lulz uh, open enough to at least get the uh, shot attempt off. Uh, all the meanwhile, Titan comes back with a disc. Uh, so much different second round, at least thus far. Uh, high Voltage still in the lead. Maybe about to take even more, but no. Just denied by that goalpost. 
But definitely Toxin, I think, has, has found a better flow than they had initially in that first round. Uh, we'll see if they can get the disc out. Now that's going to be a question because they were struggling with that in the first. Uh, but at the moment, High Voltage struggling to convert on the shots. Now a very soft pass there will be retrieved by Lulz of the best. Now he's going to get stunned this time. Leaving the anchor was Fire Ninja and leaving the uh, defense bruised as well with some more stuns yet. All the meanwhile, Newton retrieving the disc at the mid lane and up at the top is a great grab by Fire Ninja. Looking to drop it off and finally, with some contempt, it's Sonic Roland. 13 meters per second shots. Now they're up by three. Uh, final four minutes and 15 seconds remaining here in round two. Now, for we want to see that round three. Well, Toxin definitely needs to get those clears uh, more successfully through if they can and, and then find it on the orange side of the goal. Do not want it to hang here too long. B stands saying play high voltage this week. So, yeah, there you go. Getting a little bit of scouting done on this uh, high voltage team at, at the very least. Although, for a lot of the rookie teams as well, I think, or not even just the rookie teams, for that matter, for a lot of returning teams, they need to get some scouting done on Toxin here because you, you can see what they're capable of. I mean, they are down a few here, but it's just <laughs> the effort's been great. All right, there, that shot. Oh, is excellent. Echo Cameron rings it in. It's tied up six apiece. And piece of cake on the shot, apparently. That was just confident. And it hit its mark with uh, some precision. So nice steal uh, to make that happen. Three minutes left, and here we go. Launching out his high voltage. Newton with the QB duties and just holding the disc back, waiting for the defense, maybe waiting much too long. So uh, Singularity needs to recover that one. Had kind of trouble leaving his anchor. Is going to have trouble even more so with all that defense in the way. There's immediate stacks from high voltage uh, getting the disc back. So uh, High Voltage extremely lucky there that they did, did not pay initially. Uh, even more so if that shot goes through, that would be even worse off for Toxin in terms of, uh, in terms of that momentum because, yeah, it could have been an easy goal, looked like, but just uh, after that initial turnover, couldn't really let go of uh, Newton, I believe that was. That said, not able to let go of the disc in time, so Light has come. We'll send it right backwards to Titan on the reset. And uh, once more, we're seeing this from both teams now, really just... Not able to get rid of that disc in time. A lot of steals and a lot of punches resulting in steals on uh, either side of the floor. So here we go. There it is again. So another stun, another steal. Singularity with a deep one. Now off on the boost. Uh, looking for a lead now. They're going to take it. Light has come for the dunk. And he got it in and he's feeling good. He's up by two. His team needs to hold this down. Lock it in for the next couple minutes. And we could be looking at that third round. Excited to say. A very nice play. Uh, yeah. Turnover after turnover. And uh, like I was saying, it applies really to both teams. So we'll see how they react now at this point. But the aggression in the midline defense has just been stalwart from either side. Uh, at the moment, looking for maybe a shoulder pass. Uh, eyeing it. Sonic Roland wants it. But just to gets it over there to uh, an intercepted... A play from Light instead. And will they get the disc back? They have a chance, and they make it happen. Singularity celebrating the goal, and they're up 11 to 6. B stands calling out Dimwi there for maybe being correct, as well as Tony. Looks like. Could be. We'll see, though. They need to score twice here uh, for high voltage to, to make this work. And uh, with one minute to do it, it's possible, just difficult. Needs to be some quick de or quick offense followed by some more quick defense in that next round. So here it goes. Fire Ninja going to encroach two on one. And emphatically, Lulz are the best. We'll put it in. Up by three, though, is Toxin still. All about that control. And I think most certainly for Toxin, uh, suffice to say, don't give up the three. You know, I would, I would very much just have someone already prepared to be in that goal. Otherwise, you could be in trouble. That's the last thing. I mean, worst case now, like, look, they score a two. Uh, you're still going to win by one. So just make sure to seal that off. Now, that said, they do get the clear eventually. That's going to roll on in. I mean, with 13 seconds left, it is looking indeed, and barring the most unlikely of shots right now. We'll see. Uh, six seconds, five seconds. 
Oh my goodness, could it happen? They need the three. They're going for the anchor off the backboard, and they could not get it in for the three. So they will score, but doesn't matter. It's Toxin uh, winning this round. Now that really did come down to the wire. And oh my goodness, did High Voltage do a great job actually getting to the front line fast uh, with all of their players at that. That was incredible. So that, that they actually had a very good look and a very good opportunity at maybe getting a uh, an upset game tire there. But... Uh, yeah, that was that was fun. So round three it is. Let me get those scores in real quick for you and take you to the stats screen. And we'll see what we're looking at as we eye this uh, final round coming up. All right, so uh, leading the way over, well, on high voltage, is lows are the best. 11 strong points there, two assists as well. We have uh, uh, Fire Ninja with the two points. Oh, my stats are wiped, so restart. Hold on. I can still pull it from the stream. Here we go. Uh, so... Yeah, Sonic Roland with six points, one assist. Uh, and then Newton with two points, one save, 19 stuns. You have Fire Ninja with two points, six assists. That's very impressive. Definitely playing uh, some point guard here today. As well as a couple saves and 37 stuns. So that's a big stat line. Uh, over on Toxin, it's really a very even effort in terms of the scoring dis uh, distribution, as you can see. Three different players for Toxin, all with three points apiece. You have two different players with at least with one assist, two players with two saves, uh, so very, very nice distribution all around uh, from Toxin. You got to shout out though uh, the Singularity, uh, definitely putting in some big stats. Uh, 46 stuns, plenty of steals and grabs and uh, intercepts and things of that sort. So doing a nice job, and, and Titan of course with the four saves, which is also very nice for their team. So. Good stuff all around. As we uh, await this next round, that is to say this final round, about to start at some point soon, although at the moment, again, they the teams did restart uh, for some unidentified reason. Maybe I'll unmute real quick and see. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got one ready. Not quite sure what the issue was. And maybe now I'll never know. That's okay. But, all right. So, quick, quick sip of the non-sponsored carbonated beverage of my choice. And I'll be back with you in a second. All right, I'm back, we're back, Neon's back in the Twitch chat, and we're about to see this third round. So off that first joust, neither team able to uh, gain control immediately, a lot of pileups instead, about six different bodies all up in there, uh, finding a loose disc and finding Newton on the other side, but look how fast uh, the defense retreated, so very nice, and even in the mid lane, uh, who's that, probably Singularity, yes, doing more defensive work. Really bothering that back line, because you can see High Voltage was doing the right thing conceptually, and hey, you know, it's a bit scramble. Let's go for a reset, a back pass. But, uh, yeah, cut off there, but still in the front line again. Cut off by, guess who? Singularity! Another stun and steal. Name of the game. Putting in all the uh, brawl work and all the just great handles to find those uh, loose disc over and over. Or rather, create the loose disc opportunities, honestly. At the moment, though, Light there contesting as well. Uh, Sonic rolling. You can see they just don't have a ton of time to work with whenever they're catching a lot of these passes anywhere near that bubble, even outside the bubble for that matter. And at the moment, some good leeches coming through. Uh, Echo Cameron got the first grab, that first leech, but didn't really have a re-grab partner, unlike High Voltage, who definitely did. So they got back first. Uh, they're going to go for that clear in the boost and the stun, so the clear in the bruise, I guess, is more accurate there. And another clear into the two-point area, where uh, Fire Ninja will be bothered a little bit by the defense and now singularity needs to be careful trying to jump oh and he gets it to go the jump shot so indeed going back to some of those basketball plays and definitely toxin they can amaze can't they big move normally in that situation normally you just expect the duck right uh, that's a much more common and less physically exerting thing in comparison so i definitely expected a duck uh, there was very few other options beyond just an immediate shot. But no, he threw in the jump. He went for the higher athleticism move. And you know what? It paid off. He cleared the defender like a hurdle. 
and he got that goal to go exactly uh, the way he wanted. So now Singularity, they will uh, re he will retain the disc for his team here on Toxin. You can see uh, the double stack kind of forming here, maybe looking for a double clear and boost. Uh, so one of the stacks getting broken. In fact, two of the stacks getting broken. And one of the stacks getting back together and breaking the face there of the defender. So up on the pass, trying to find a body somewhere, but all the able bodies momentarily disabled by the uh, multitude of punches. All the meanwhile, look at that stellar stack, but all oh, that shot just slightly off here. Lows of the best, will retain, getting the rebound and looking to make an anchor play perhaps for the goal. Rebounded now off that shot is Titan. He's gonna go for that clear, but over to the hands of Roland. Sonic that is, and he, uh, Sonic clears it over here to Lulz. So Lulz are the best. They're trying to look for their best possible shot opportunity. Beautiful delivery there. Somebody called the post office as Newton puts in the stamp. But that was a, just a great assist from Sonic as well. And uh, yeah, high voltage there, tying it up, getting a little bit of that momentum right back in their favor now with a 6.55 remaining here in the third round. All right, so Titan with a disc here. Let's see if this, uh, this, this just fast-paced franticness just continues because Man, the aggression we're seeing in that mid lane at times has been insane. At the moment, though, maybe one-on-one -on -one goal, a tough angle, but good rebound there. Singularity always in the right place, it seems like, doesn't it? Uh, trying for the disc, though, and unable to get the grab. So here's some good stacks coming in from Fire and Lulz. Fire will get there first and uh, try and slap it out, but instead it'll just rebound uh, into the opposite direction that they wanted. Meanwhile, Cameron taking the disc away, but having it stolen away by Newton now. So Newton going for a clear. But uh, just too uh, tough of an angle to get it. That said, these teams both really, really tangling here up in the pocket and all around the floor now. It, it just seems like a, uh, as opposed to one pileup, it's just a very mobile pileup that's moving all the way up and down the 80 meters or so of this floor at the moment. Uh, right there on that shot attempt will bounce bo uh, back off into the hands of Newton. Newton's spinning around trying to be evasive with the maneuvering and being very invasive with the stuns was light. Getting the clear, just bouncing right off that Geo in the mid, that double diamond. And instead, finding the disc is Singularity. No surprises there, but Newton covering off that mid lane, doing it so well, and finding yet another uh, attempt here. Sonic, a great dish, cutting off, anchoring down. Oh, look at the grab from Echo Cameron. Let's go, Cameron. Getting a nice grab off of what was going to be a very just speedy, momentous shot. All the meanwhile, here's Newton again in the midfield. So, uh, Newton going for a pass down to Sonic Roland. Right in the spot, but look at that. Covered off again with a good positioning on the defense. But this is like round one, where we saw high voltage over and over and over. Getting the rebound after rebound. Getting the advantage on the shot attempts. Uh, they're looking to do some more of that here. Because that was definitely the struggle of Toxin in round one, is just finding those clears. And, and, and actually capitalizing off that defense. At the moment, capitalizing on some offense, it's Sonic. So... You know what, the rest of the bodies on the floor were covered off pretty well. So what did Sonic do? He went to Ness, pushed off of it, and he just drove it in himself. Uh, the coverage on you know, the rest of the players there were very good. But just kind of leaving the one man you couldn't leave open, which is to say the QB, to uh, drive it in freely. And that's where uh, they kind of lost that one. But that said, four minutes left still, and it's a 4-2 to two advantage here for high voltage as Toxin looks to offer that rebuttal if they can on this offensive play. You have Cameron down on the floor all solo. It might have himself that one-on-one -on -one opportunity if uh, had he caught that at first. Now that said, they still might have an opportunity. Defense coming in hot, uh, going for the pass, but there you go. Nice cutoff from, uh, I think that was Lulz. And getting in the clear. Now we've seen this dangerous stack already from high voltage. They've done it once, they've done it twice. They've got the shot, not on line. So canceling that upload as they try to get the clear here for Toxin or a pass or what have you. Uh, but they just don't want it to stick on this side for too long. That continues to be the struggle because there you go. You're giving high voltage these extra opportunities. And because of how good their passing has been and their offense has been, uh, they're going to capitalize on said opportunities with two more right there. Lulz to Sonic. Finding that Sonic speed. And collecting those rings as he goes through that ring which no one has ever called the goal before. So 320 left, and it's a 6-2 to two advantage here, favoring high voltage, really putting together that extra effort and that team play and taking advantage of Toxin's uh, failed clears. That said, they finally get it onto this side of the floor, but another great cutoff. Uh, 
it was Lulz again just doing kind of uh, to Singularity what Singularity's been doing to everyone else for most of this series. So very nice job there to cut off the pass and now getting the stacks. There it is from High Voltage again. They've been mighty, mighty quick on it and mighty, mighty slick on it as they go from that shot and right on the spot. Look at that. Kissing it off the glass, which is to save the backboard. And they're up 9 to 2. So really impressive here from uh, High Voltage. That defense that they've been playing now in this third round, very claustrophobic. Uh, but furthermore, the speed really getting them the opportunities that they're looking for. Because once that disc is loose, uh, you know, High Voltage is getting the clears, and they are getting the stacks. And that's really making the difference here in terms of those numbers, those scores. Uh, pass attempt here just denied by that block. And another attempt here denied by the stun. Now, three different players stacking for Toxin. They're going to get back there first, but now overshooting it. So a little bit in scramble mode there. Trying to contest here. Singularity getting uh, baited into the stun by Sonic, it looks like. Uh, Sonic will distribute it off here to Newton. Newton just finding the walls, but off the wall is Fire Ninja, and off the wall is this game. Been very fun to watch uh, right there. Trying to spin, but can't get anything uh, going from it. Sonic rolling there from one of his favorite spots, taking a most favored shot, and Fire Ninja acquired Ninja, that disc, off that miss. It's 11 to two, high voltage now, looking to pull away decisively late in this third round. So Toxin on the joust advantage, needing some very immediate scores, and even, even with that urgency, I'm not sure that there's going to be enough time uh, relative to this kind of momentum. I mean, there you go. Lulls are the best. Another turnover being forced. And as has often been the case, you know, they, they get the clear successfully and they get the boost uh, successfully. I mean, right there, they, they do it again. Now, that said, uh, the midfielders just missing the disc barely, but there they are, already prepared for the stack. That said, well, so are the Toxin folk, but overshooting the disc on that first attempt. And uh, we've seen a couple overshoots now from them, and I think that's just because, aside of maybe just being a little tired out, also just being a little bit... Uh, you know, frustrated uh, by the speed that High Voltage has been showing. You know, uh, knowing that High Voltage is winning a lot of these boost battles, when if you're on Toxin side of the floor, you're kind of thinking at every time uh, you get those stacks going, well, we need to be faster. We need to be faster. But then if you're too fast and you don't have that good stack rhythm going, that's when those overshoots happen and the, the disc just uh, kind of sits there floating for the other team to take it. So definitely that push and pull balance. But with 20 seconds left, High Voltage is going to come away with, it, uh, with this win. And maybe one more shot to seal it off. Newton. And that is Newton's law. 14 to 2. High voltage are going to complete the victory in three rounds. Had to work hard for it for sure. Uh, for Toxin, we mentioned it before the match had started there. That this was going to be a good test for them. Uh, they already had a pretty strong test and some strong showings last week in, the, in Toxin's matches. But high voltage, you know, being a, an already established team there from uh, the first season of VRML and just showing how far they've come along. So it was a great test for Toxin. And honestly, just even though they didn't come away with the win, they honestly, uh, I think, passed at least the eye test for a lot of people. I mean, they showed uh, this is going to be a serious team not too far in the future uh, based on what they're showing only a few months into the game. I mean, as far as I'm aware, these are all uh, rookie you know, quest players. So the amount of, of skill and meta play and just team play that we're seeing from them is pretty stunning, to be honest. Uh, but but High Voltage, just the same. They're kind of in those same shoes where in Season 1 they were, uh, you know, a team of not quite as experienced players relative to, say, a lot of the other teams in the upper tiers. But High Voltage has continued to go and stick together, um, you know, getting better and better week to week, and they show just an incredible smattering of speed, uh, great passing, and uh, great positioning. Hence why they had so much of the shot attempts and uh, for a lot of those rounds. I mean, look at that. 73% of shots taken, in fact. As well as the 88% assist. Uh, that's really just a huge telltale sign of the, the progression of team play that High Voltage has made. And they've really taken it to the next level uh, this season so far and are continuing to get better and better. Uh, so to go over these game uh, ending stats real quick it was 13 from sonic along with three assists 31 stuns he had lulls are the best with 11 uh, points five assists to go with a save steal and then 35 stuns 
Newton contributing 7 points, 1 save, 1 steal, 24 stuns, and Fire Ninja 4 points, uh, 6 assists, and 2 saves, 2 steals, 48 stuns. For Toxin, it was 3 points for Cameron, Echo Cameron, 2 saves, 34 stuns. Light has come for uh, with 4 points. 2 saves, 48 stuns. Singularity with 5 points, 1 assist, 4 saves, 3 steals, and 65 ridiculous stuns. And then Titan with 3 points, 1 assist, 6 saves, and 13 stuns. Uh, yeah. Still a great effort despite the loss. Uh, continually looking forward to seeing uh, what these teams, both of these teams, honestly, uh, provide on streams. Very excited to see these up and coming teams, uh, you know, at any level make progress. So it's been a fun one. But anyway, that will do it for now. Uh, taking a look at the schedule on my end really quickly here. We do have at least a couple more games scheduled a little bit later. And uh, indeed, so right now, not being casted, granted, but there is a match between Midnight's and Manifest happening. Uh, in, let's see, about 40, 40, 50 minutes, something like that. Uh, yeah, it's Unqualified Scientist and Heat Wave. We, ha we have Gold Diggers and Chaos playing, as well as Team Mute and Absolute Unit. And that's all within the next couple hours. Uh, I can check the match pages for that, but we shall see. I am confident that some of these, if not all of these, should should be casted. Uh, stay tuned in the pretty immediate future, though. I'll, I'll figure that out in uh, the next several minutes. But anyway... All right, so that'll do it for me, uh, I do believe. Uh, for everyone engaging in the Twitch chat, see a lot of GGs up in there from when the round ended, and yeah, very good game. So uh, yeah, final shout-outs just to the people I see kind of on the top of this page. B-Stands, Captain Canada, Neon, X-Wing, Minimum Wage, Matt, uh, ZZ, Kalamata, Five Spotted Dog, B-Love, X-Wing, ready, said you, but X-Wing again, two X-Wings, uh, Fire Ninja, Stopping by after the game with the GGs. And Woosh saying, whoa, Toxin took around. Well, you shouldn't be surprised. Toxin, I t I'm telling you, they're a team to watch. They're not here uh, facing these teams by mistake. Uh, and also, yep, there you go. Newton in the chat as well, stopping by. And then Flute Freak and Saluna. All right, there we go. I was mentioning you. I, I mentioned you before you mentioned me not mentioning you. See, it's just, it's just a delay, that's all. I didn't skip you, Saluna. I just I was reading off who I saw just uh you know on this first page of scrolls. I'm too I'm too hot right now to scroll more than a little bit. Okay, that's all. Ever since Sneaky Evil made me turn off my air conditioning while I was casting yesterday, in 116 degree weather. So, doing it again. Uh, if if I fumble, it's all Sneaky's fault. Just keep that in mind every single time I make a mistake. It's always Sneaky. I got that got that heat stroke. Uh, but anyway, all right, I'm going to be off here, so thank you guys for uh, joining me. I've been Palador on the casting and cams for you. And, yeah, until the next match is, uh, be happy, be healthy, be safe, be good to each other as always, and I'll see you again very, very soon.